Oh. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be turning the vintage 212 dirt bike into a big wheel. Kind of. <laughs> We're going to take the mini bike, tear it apart, take the 212 dirt bike, tear it apart, and put the pieces together to use the wheels off the mini bike and the brakes off the mini bike on the 212 dirt bike to basically just have a full suspension mini bike but it's gonna look like a big wheel dirt bike and it's gonna look pretty sick so as long as everything goes to plan that's what we're doing today so we're gonna get some tools ready we're gonna go in the inside shop which you guys are gonna see for the first time we started cleaning out part of the property dug ourselves a fire pit and we found some pretty cool items which were kind of random but uh just happened to be quite useful to me here at GG Moto, we really like to just put shit together that isn't supposed to be together. It's just random parts from all kinds of different bikes. From pit bikes, to mini bikes, to dirt bikes, to street bikes. We just found something I think is pretty cool because I have some pretty cool ideas for it. And I want to try out one of the ideas I have today in this video. Uh, just for a little uh, special clip. Um, so stay tuned for the end to see it back to the video. So our indoor shop slash studio looks nothing like a shop or studio right now. But that's because it has been only a few weeks that we've lived here and we have to get all new furniture and stuff to furnish this place and redo it. Today, the goal is to take those wheels, put it on that bike. How well is that going to go? I have no clue. We're starting off this adventure with taking off the triple trees of both bikes. All right, so both front sets off, and we're now fitting the mini bike front end to the dirt bike, which is going along better than I planned. And we're gonna put the front wheel back on, and then we're gonna move to the back. We're gonna get the back wheel off of the dirt bike, and then we're going to see if we can spread apart the back swing arm so that we can fit the mini bike wheel into it and no daylight left um we got it done partially it just looks like we put back suspension on cletus the whole front end is the same everything else is kind of shaped similar everything rolls i just have to hook up our brake our handlebars the motor to the best of our ability i guess so i don't know how i managed to do this or how I managed to miss this when we first tried to fit the motor in here. But with just by putting this singular plate here in the center, we can <laughs> we can bolt the engine down through the skid plate exactly like I wanted to originally. We didn't we don't need this at all. Which means this can be still used for Cletus's frame when we get the proper wheels and tires that we want for this. I'm literally so close to being done with this already. Little mini cafe racer has come together. Like this should have been the move at the beginning. I still really want to turn it into like a, like a actual street bike cafe racer, but it's going to be a little while until I can do that. Um, so for now, this little brawler thing that I made is gonna have to do. Just to catch you up, we put, we swapped out the 40 tooth sprocket with the 50 tooth sprocket. We added this really janky but very useful chain tensioner to keep the chain off of the frame here. Bolted up the engine most of the way. I'm gonna trim this, run the fuel line, run the electrical, Put on the handlebars. I have a specific way I want to put them on um, in my head, but I don't know if it's going to work. Uh, but I'm not going to put them on how, they, how they're how they supposed to be mounted. All right, guys, so we did a test run. Logan ran it. The chain blew off because the chain, chain tensioner popped off. 
and uh, I just found it right here's the spring and then the chain tensioner should be down around here somewhere but yeah it's <laughs> it's basically pouring there it is yeah it's still intact Woo, guys it's still intact this thing is an absolute monster to be taking it for a little road trip for a moto vlog i got a couple little things here and there that i gotta just tie up loose ends uh gotta put the number plate on and stuff like that make it look pretty uh, but other than that she's running and riding like a like a beast hey logan yeah i found it well halfway down the driveway but we're gonna put the bike away for the night so it doesn't get any more rusty um we did a short little test drive and one of the chain tensioners that we put on here snapped off so now we have these two little skateboard wheels one's mounted to the engine and one's mounted to the frame and they're keeping the uh the chain off of the frame so hopefully those don't break off because if those break off we're kind of screwed and i don't know what else to do except maybe cut off part of the frame or something um but yeah we got this little neck bearing here just as looks um, and it just, it looks like a rat bike. Like I really wanted to make this look like a nice street bike, like cafe racer style, whatever. But it really just ended up turning into this weird rat rod crotch rocket big wheel. So we honestly might just be keeping this the way it is and just like repainting some stuff, getting the proper clip on bars for everything. Um, but yeah, it's an absolute ripper. It's fast it's it's weird it sits so weird and it's just all in all it's a really fun bike and i can't wait to show you guys us riding it but that's gonna have to wait till another video so peace out from the jj moto guys and we'll see y'all in the next video peace sounds ridiculous and that is actually going to be it for the today's video so i hope you guys enjoyed thanks again from the jj moto guys see you guys later peace <laughs>